Hello and welcome to Sweetens. 5 minute back to back drama review on the recently aired Shenshia's Back from the Brink and Beauty of Resilience. Let's begin with the better of the two dramas, Back from the Brink, starring Myo Hu and Jo Ye. This is a 40 episode Shenshia that is packaged as a romantic comedy with a barrel of laughs and tear jerking moments. It's a Shenshia but it does not include the three realms it's mostly about the war between the spirit clan and the taoists the ancient spirit dragon tian yao fell in love with a taoist clan leader but he was betrayed killed and dismembered on his wedding day years later as a shadow of his former self on a quest to recover his body parts he meets the money loving and frivolous yan hui they are forced to work together and through many adventures they slowly find love trust and happiness this is a dark story that is nevertheless narrated in a lighthearted comic manner for instance stabbing or getting stabbed by your loved one is a shenshia hallmark and it's usually an angsty moment but in this series it brings on a refreshingly comical turn of events each time she is stabbed yan hui's reactions and expressions are priceless and her fear of seeing Tian Yao later on is very realistic. Plot-wise, the drama is well written and interesting, especially for the first 20 episodes or so. We still have the age-old Xianxia tropes and cardboard villains, but the adventures are well narrated and the storytelling is impressive. Not to mention the hilarious moments when the dragon is forced to pose as the koi fish spirit of the female lead. Casting is excellent. and both the leads prove their mettle as promising actors the female lead especially was spellbinding and her acting was a blend of passionate and youthful exuberance she also looks great on screen with Mia Ho and together they make a splendid pair they had a strong chemistry and the drama also did a great job in building their relationship unlike most shenshias their path to love was beautiful and realistically done But unfortunately the drama began to downslide in the middle when it delves into a lot of unnecessary subplots that are shallow and in the latter half the theme of love obsession is overexploited even though the ultimate antagonist had a hateful motive that was stressed repetitively it lacked depth and complexity in fact in terms of motivation acting and complexity soing was a more interesting villain than the boring mastermind Although the shadow demon was a wickedly good addition to the story, the writer fails to capitalize on such an unusually refreshing character. Wang Yulin delivers a highly entertaining performance as the shadow demon, but he becomes a tired trope that gets sidelined in the end. It's as if a different writer took over in the middle of the drama and defaulted it into the worst tropes out there. Even though the narrative does recover from the massive hiccup in the middle, it falls well short of the beginning momentum. This is a low budget production with a decent execution and an average CGI, VFX and cinematography. I loved the cartoonish spirits which were kind of cute and unique. The OSTs were good and especially the opening theme song was remarkably well done. Overall, I would rate this drama a 7. Despite the hiccups here and there, The drama does have phenomenal storytelling and amazing leads who are interesting to watch. It's an entertaining series that can still be a great watch when you have zero expectations. Moving on, 